what is the melody? It's the drum of liberation. Gear 5 has arrived, and Luffy is about to give Kaido the hands of the century. So last time we left off with Luffy, he got taken out the same way that Odin got taken out, with interference by this punk-ass dude from CP0. They really hated seeing Young Pirate King winning, but that didn't stop Luffy, because we see the peak of Luffy's powers, and the beginning of Kaido's end. Luffy's body starts convulsing like a crackhead looking for a fix. That's when I knew he was on a perk 30 because he starts smiling, then he gets up talking about he lost the battle. But this man Luffy is so high, he starts laughing his ass off. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the reincarnation of Joy Boy. This man Luffy looked like he about to steal Goku flow bar for bar the way he powering up. Cut to these old ass people talking about Luffy double fruit. They're talking about the gum gum fruit, aka the human human fruit, model Nika. In other words, this man has the power of Toon Force on his side. This man has the power of the sun god Nika. This is why he makes everybody smile. This is why he is the GOAT. This man Luffy over here flits in his power like Vegito, and he's just bouncing around like a snide nosed kid at a bounce house. Luffy literally has more freedom than anybody right now. The way he manipulates his power, he can turn anything to rubber. It can be a human, it can be the ground, it can be anything it does not matter now that he's done jumping around in front of the moon trying to recreate the juggalos logo this man is turning up just spazzing out on the ground laughing his ass off this man luffy jumps in the air making his arm so big so he can pull kaido out of the island and pull him up top so they can finish their fight this surprised kaido but this man luffy was not done yet this man said fuck the gym i'm about to show you how to really get games and he pulls out the muscle but the way he says muscle in Japanese got me thinking he on the same wavelength as Zoro. If you know, you know. First Nika, now Monkey. Thank God for subtitles, because if they didn't have it, they will be canceled. This man Luffy gives Kaido a three punch combo, then ends it with a YIR to wind up punch that's making him see stars and making his eyes come out of his head. Then proceeds to grab Kaido, taking him for a spin, pun intended. Then giving him the same treatment that Loki got from the Hulk and smashing him into the ground. After that, Luffy just starts laughing again. This man is on the ground like he told the funniest joke. This man Luffy is laughing his ass off so much because of him whooping Kaido's ass. This man Kaido gets so saying, thank you, Straw Hat. I'm just glad you're alive. I swear, this man Kaido, big moments in, in his whole career, it's always something interfering. I mean, first it was Odin. Now it's Luffy, man. Like, like, win a fight by yourself, my guy. But Kaido decides, I'm about to blast this dude away. Kaido shoots a blast breath towards Luffy. Luffy seizes, his eyes come out of his head and he starts to lock in. This man starts hitting the spinner Rooney like he's Booker T. Gets up in the air, starts hitting the moonwalk like he's Michael Jackson and grabs the ground. Pulls it up so Kaido's attack can deflect back to Kaido's. This is why this man is strategic and this is why Luffy's a goat.